Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Keepy 75 Games. I am Keepy, and today I'm going to walk you through how to update your PS5 with its new system software update. So if you are like me and you turned on your PS5 today and you're welcomed with this screen, go online to discover PlayStation Plus and whatever it says, sign in, um, and you're like how am i signed out that means there's a new update just press the triangle on your controller or scroll up to the top settings go to system system software update settings and it says there's an update available we are going to click on that we're going to update using the internet and then we will view the details first all right, so it says the main features are Dolby Atmos is now supported and you can enjoy 3D audio on HDMI devices that support Dolby Atmos. Enjoy an immersive audio experience with your supported HDMI device while playing PS5 games that support the Tempest 3D audio technology. Media apps that support Dolby Atmos can now deliver the Spaddle sound experience with your supported HDMI device. And then it goes on to tell you to turn on Dolby Atmos, go to settings, sound, audio, output audio format priority and then select Dolby Atmos you can now use an M.2 SSD with the maximum capacity of 8 terabytes to expand space on your PS5 the screen reader now supports Turkish Swedish Portuguese Portugal the access controller is now supported you can now use an assist controller you can now assign a second controller to use who's logged into your PS5 as an assist controller this allows you to use the main controller along with the assist controller controller to control your ps5 as if you were using one controller to use an assist controller go to settings accessibility controllers use second controller for assistance and then turn on use assist controller you can use the assist controller when using a dual sense or dual sense edge wireless controller or a ps5 supported third party controller as the main controller other update features this is a big one guys the following features and improvements have been added we got game base. You can now easily see which of your friends are in an activity you can join under the friends tab. The other joinable icon will be displayed next to friends who are playing a game you can join. You can join a friend's game directly by pressing the options button and selecting join game or by selecting that symbol join on their profile card. The following features have been added to parties. When someone's sharing their screen in a party, you'll now see a preview of their share screen. You can find this in the parties tab you can now start a private party without creating a group you can now invite players who aren't group members to a private party and you can now send party invitations to groups in addition to individual players you can now react to messages with emojis it's now easier to access media shared in your groups select shared media from the options menu in the message card the usability of cards in the control center has been improved activity cards have been improved when multiple activities are in progress the newest ones will appear in a standalone card in the control center the consolidated activity card will also continue to be displayed game help cards have been improved in addition to in progress activities you can now see available previously available upcoming and completed activities when this card is selected its details are now displayed on the right side of the card making it easier to find objectives and their corresponding hints the console navigation experience has been improved when moving the cursor while navigating the console the sound effect you hear when you reach the point where you can't move any further is now more pronounced and noticeable you can now get haptic feedback through vibrations on your controller while navigating your ps5 that's cool uh, go to settings accessibility controllers and then turn on haptic feedbacks during console navigation in the game hub you can now see how many tournaments you've entered in the highest place you've achieved on the player profile screen you'll now see most played games in the game library you can now search for games just within your game library browse useful tips for getting the most out of your ps5 and learn about new features in the new discover tips section go to settings guide tips healthy safety and other information guide and tips and then select discover tips to view all tips simplified kanji has been added i totally butchered that word i'm sorry but it says simplified Kanji Kanji has been added to the text input methods for Chinese traditional to use the simplified Kanji input method on the screen keyboard go to settings systems uh, language input language Chinese traditional and turn on that word to use it on external 
keyboards go to settings accessories other accessories select chinese traditional for type and that word and that word <laughs> you can now mute or adjust the volume on ps5 beep sound when turning it on or off or putting it in rest mode go to settings system beep sound to adjust the beep sound volume select volume to mute select mute the video output information screen displayed on settings system the video output information screen displayed in settings screen and video video output has been redesigned to make it easier to view to see a current resolution color format and hdcp version select current video output signal to see the supported status of hdr high dynamic range and vrr variable refresh rate for each of the available frequencies for your hdmi device select information for the connected hdmi device voice command has been improved the help content of voice command has been improved you can now navigate between help content pages using voice command a help will be hidden after some time has passed the ps5 qr code if you say what's new via voice command on any screen you can now check for new ps5 features and the latest information about ps plus currently voice command preview is only available in english for players accounts for playstation network in the us and uk the ps5 qr code login screen has been redesigned the qr codes are now much more larger We've updated the device software on the DualSense wireless controller, DualSense Edge wireless controller, PlayStation VR 2, and PlayStation 2 VR 2 Sense controllers to improve stability. We've improved the messages and usability on some screens. And then it also goes on to say, for more details about this update, please see the PlayStation software's uh, webpage. And it is version 23.02-08-00-00. Now, we will go over to update. Now it's going to restart, and I'll be right back. Now we got a please wait screen. Now we get the install. Now, mind you, I've had all this stuff for the past couple of months as I've been in the beta test program. So I've been testing all this new stuff that they have in this update, and it's all pretty cool. Almost done. And we're back. We have the PlayStation logo. And we're back in the login screen. Press the PlayStation button. All right. And there you have it. We have updated our PS5. Let's just go back to the settings. The system software update is complete. Let's go over to the software. And now it says we are up to date. Another thing you can do right quick is scroll down to system features update. And if you are available for this update, you could also click this and it will search to make sure you have the most recent system feature updates um, downloaded to your system as well. Not all everybody will have it. I already have it. Some people will get the prompt to download it. I suggest to go ahead and do so. Other than that, guys, that is going to do it for this video of the PS5 system software update. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if it's useful for you, please click the like button, leave a comment below, and I hope you all have a nice day. See you all in the next one. I'm Keepy75. Peace!